hello hello guys it's your boys on that mento i'm back with another video guys um as you can see we are checking out german dates so um we're been preaching to you guys during the week especially with the swing points the swing high and the swing lows and the entry points and the how to spot an entry and everything uh, i'm about to show you that on german date guys so i'm about to show you how to be the most profitable trader especially when it comes to indexes so remember, guys, before you say that I don't have enough capital to trade indexes and stuff, when, like with Globex 360, you can trade with um as low as like 1,000 or 1 1.5 because, guys, their spread is too low. So with 0 0.01, I think you can be able to open like two or three trades with a 1K account. If I'm not making a mistake, if they will allow you to open, but with their spread guys it's like you will be trading currencies but the only difference is you will be making more money than on currencies remember you will be applying your stop losses and your top profit so the only difference is just that like is uh, that uh, with uh, Germany or Nasdaq or whatever we're going to be trading they move more faster than currencies right and then like they pay more than currencies but with the spread is uh low so german has like the lowest uh spread when it comes to a uh, drawbacks uh 360 broker so this is the most uh recommended broker i can recommend for you if you can ask with me that okay which broker do you recommend for us guys i can simply say the answer i have for you is uh, the broker i recommend is what it's um this broker i'm using now as you can see this is on a 360 real account so okay guys um as you can see, I'm I'm gonna start preaching um, um the topic or the gospel of the day. So guys, remember um on today's video, like I said, I'm just gonna be focusing with you mostly on technical, and then I'm gonna be showing you with the system how the system corresponds with the technical and stuff. So look at this, guys. As the market rallies up, uh, let me just change the color. Which color can I use? Okay, as the market rallies up like this guys you will see it like it always forms this always it always forms this guys so once the market breaks this pattern guys once the market breaks this pattern you start looking for what opportunities once the market breaks this pattern you start looking for opportunities so if you know any of you guys have something to write or i can kindly advise that get something to write guys because uh this is gonna be like a very fruitful video which is gonna be changed uh or which is gonna change like your trading career so as you can see from there it's straight through to the downside so uh if we can check guys um what we're gonna be focusing on are the swing points and what and the double tops and the double bottoms so every time when you get a double top keep in mind that they like the sell like or oh, sellers are gonna be stronger than buyers. Like ninety percent of the time, when you see a double top, sellers are gonna be stronger than buyers. And then ninety percent of the time, when you see a double bottom, know that buyers are gonna be stronger than what than sellers. So, for example, uh, this is what I'm trying to say to you. Um, just wanna spot few examples with you guys. So, if you can check from here. Uh, there was a slight uh, double top there, but there was like a small double top. If you can check from one, if you can check from the second touch, sellers were stronger. It even broke this level, right? Because there was a double top. So the sellers were strong. So if you can check here, if you can check there, it's a double bottom. One, two. And the second one, buyers were stronger. They even broke this level, right? So you can see, so even here, this is a double uh, top, right? That's why you see the what? The uh, <clears throat> sellers uh, being stronger based on what I've been telling you now. So as you can see, guys, hence you now see that okay, the market did this and then the market now broke this level. So remember, guys, there are such points you have to always take uh, uh, to consideration. Uh, let me just close this. There are such points you always have to take to consideration. These are key levels, guys, because you can see that these are what? 
it's where the market uh, 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 consolidates. So a consolidation gas is a constant movement. So when the market gets to a point where it's constant for the longest time, uh, what comes to your mind is what is that that level is a very respected point. That's why you see the market failing to break that point same time or failing to react on that level because it's a respected point. So it's still getting to decide that it, uh, like, am I going to push to the upside or am I going to go to the downside? So every time when you see this level, it's like when you see swim points. So sometimes instead of swim points, you're going to be getting white. Uh, the consolidation guys so these are continuation patterns so every time when you see um this continuation patterns you're gonna have to do what guys you're gonna have to look for trading opportunities so okay uh i'm gonna delete uh and like, i hope you guys are following i hope you guys are following so if any of you guys are gonna be having any question after this please do text me on whatsapp so if any of you are gonna be wishing to join the course do uh, uh don't hesitate to text me so as you can see from here started doing what started doing this came here and then it went up so guys um as you can see from here uh from the uptrend the buyers were what the buyers were stronger than what the buyers were stronger than sellers based on this level here there was a consolidation as well that's why you see the market like pushing all the way to the upside right so and remember what i've been preaching guys that um yeah, like there are also things we also check as well which are what which are the uh zones so which zones are we talking about the zones we're talking about guys are our um supply and demand levels for example let's say you mark this level or you did mark that. okay this is a supply this is a demand this is a supply this is a demand so such levels are the levels I'm talking about. So as you can see, guys, that okay, we said uh from here, uh sorry, we said from here, as you can see, came here, came here. So this is where you look for your buying opportunities. As you can see, it pushed to the upside, came here, came here, came here. So now the market formed the what? formed or it gave us like a what a sort of a double bottom here so you had a double bottom so after having the double bottom you see the market rallying all the way to the upside right so it sort of created like a hair and shoulder pattern there on that level sort of created like hair and shoulder pattern and then came back down so if you were to enter a buy from this point guys you were definitely accurate or you were definitely sure that okay the charts was gonna push to the upside so remember we are only checking the charts on 30 minutes so doesn't mean that you're always gonna check on date i know that there's a lot of things i'm missing on one hour because now um, i'm on my 30 minutes so whatever i'm doing here guys you also apply on one hour the reason why we are sticking to one time frame is just that isn't it that this is a session? So this is a session because we can like uh, check all the time frames. So, but I'm just showing you on how to approach the markets when you are trading, right? So if you can check from here, you can like draw your trend line because you can see that, okay, there was like, or well, there's like a small uh, downtrend uh, markets, right? So, Again, guys, same thing applies or same things or same rules applies. So whenever you see that, okay, the market was forming this pattern and then now the market is changing the pattern. For example, let's say you see that, okay, the market came here and then now you see that, okay, this low or this high, this high is now lower. Like this is where you start looking for entries, guys. You can now see that, okay, now the chart is pushing to the downside and then it came to this point, right? So on that point, it's trying to form a what? A double bottom. So that's why I'm saying that with you guys, like the only difference I'm having now is like I'm sticking to one time frame. But if you can, or if you want to know more details on how to switch time frame, guys, do text me. And how to use separate time frames, do text me. I will, I will kindly explain to you guys. So as you can see, one, two, right? So that's why you see on the second touch, the market pushed all the way to the upside. Even here, one, two. The market short all the way to the downside so look at this guy so what is it you are noticing you will see that like on every um double bottom zone or double bottom level 
Yeah, like the push to the upside are always stronger. Even on the double top, the push to the downside are always stronger. And sometimes you can also check your swing points, guys. Your swing points are also going to be communicating with you on what's happening and what to do next. So that's why I'm saying that with you now, at least we're only checking with one hour. So remember, we're still checking Germany. We're still going to switch to what? To um, other time frames. I, I mean to other... Uh, indexes like um like uh, usdt so like i said we're only checking it on what or with what with um okay guys so this is the double uh bottom also and then we started seeing this started seeing this started seeing this thing guys clean clean and straightforward clean started seeing this so from here, you can see, look at this. Now the market is starting to push away to the downside. Simple, guys. Simple, straightforward, right? So I want us to focus on this now. I want us to focus on this now. So since we see that, okay, now uh, the market was starting to push to the downside. As long as you can remember uh, with yourselves, obviously, or with any uh, trade you're going to catch, obviously, you're going to trade with the target. Uh, let's say you catch like your buys from uh this level here from this point here let's say for example you catch your buy here uh let's say you catch your buys here it's obvious that okay maybe you're gonna like take your profit somewhere here i'm just giving it like an example right it's not bad even if you can take profit here guys still you could have made more than a thousand so if you are using the lowest, lowest, lowest lot size on uh, Drawbex, I'm sure that maybe you can make like 500 or more. I'm not sure because I've never really, really used the lowest, lowest, lowest lot size because they have like the lowest spread. So that's why I'm referring uh, most of you guys with uh, whether you have a big account or small account, guys, the best broker for me, if you ask me, is uh, Drawbex 360. So... um. As you can see from this point, guys, as I was saying that, okay, from here, you can see, uh, sorry, from here, you, like, you could see that, okay, this started happening, started happening, came here, came here, came here. so, again, I'm going to repeat this, what I've been preaching, double bottom now. So, since you have a double bottom, look at this, guys. We have a double bottom and then this started happening. This started happening. You see that? Now the market is starting to do what? The market is starting to buy. I hope you guys see that. I hope you guys see that. So if you can draw this here, you can clearly see that you have a what? A double bottom here, which was a what? A, a, like a sign that, okay, the market is going to continue to go to a direction. Even here, you had like a small double top, but it was nothing serious. Even here, guys. So you can see that like double tops and double bottoms are everywhere if you can check. So simply meaning that you can trade only with your double tops and double bottoms, which is going to be your supply and your demand, right? And then uh, you can also like trade with your swing point. So remember, guys, uh, I've been preaching that, okay, like uh, there's a lot of information, guys, you need to inquire in order for you to be uh, a productive or a profitable trader, guys. So this is only like few of those things you're going to need. Uh, these are the straight uh, steps in order for you to become like a profitable trader. Guys. So as you can see, again, um, okay, from this point here, the market was rolling to the downside from here. So we do need like the impulsive, as you can see, there was a strong impulsive move and then from here, what is it that we see, even if you can do this? So this is, I think we did get like such example uh, before, uh, before we did see such examples. So this was a simple buy, guys, because uh, of this, I'm going to explain why my thing was simple. So there's this, and then there's this, right? So high, low, high, right? So since we have this high now, you can see that, okay, it broke the rules, guys. So... Uh, in our minds, we tell ourselves that, okay, we're expecting the markets to do what? To push all the way to um to the downside, I mean to the upside, right? So if you can also like draw your trend line through, you can clearly see you have your three touches there and then you have your breakout and retest. So simply meaning that 
this was a simple push to the upside. So based on how we work or based on how we trade, guys, so we could have caught like your uh, buys uh, exactly here because this has been selling. So guys, um, we can also like, I can also like uh, create a PDF based on this, but uh, I don't want to create one because like the information is in the mind, guys. So, um, Okay, let me just delete everything so that I can re-explain what I was explaining. So, okay, uh, we're saying from here, it came here, right? Then it came here, came here, came here, came here. So this was supposed to be your buy. Came here, 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 came here. So like most of the time if you can notice guys you will notice that like when the chart gets in the middle it starts forming like a lot of double tops and a lot of double bottoms right so what does this uh, what does that tell you that simply tells you that like those are the things you have to memorize guys remember the forex market guys always repeats um mostly uh the same thing and it always res like respect mostly like the same zones right so as you can see we had like a a swing high here so that's why you see it from here it did respect this one and then it came to this point and then it pushed so if we can drag this one from here you will clearly see that it was the same one it was respecting where here it was the same level it was respecting here right so you can see after it broke it pushed all the way to the upside until it got to this level here you see that guys i hope you guys are following so i've like I think I've did uh, uh, too many examples on German TT. So, but let's check like um the last uh, two examples. Let's check the last two examples. So, okay, from here, um, if I can draw like a trend line like this, um, okay, this is a trend line. So this was a what? This was a downtrend, right? This was a downtrend. So. Since this is a downtrend, as you can see, we have one, two, three here. Even down here, you have one, two, three, right? So since you have like three, and then now, uh, what you're going to do, remember, guys, remember the double bottoms, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you can see that the chart or the market didn't break, even this one, perfect double bottom, one, two, hit bot, right? Even from this one, guys, look at this, one, so it didn't break, it rejected and then bought. So this was a simple push to the upside. You could have seen that the market was going to buy. And then one, two, one, two. So this is where you kill your buys, guys. This is where you execute your buys. And then as you can see, continued with the what? With the pattern. Continued with the pattern. So what did it do when it gets or when it got to this level? When it get to this level, it um. When it get to this level, it. You guys, uh, as I was saying that um, you can clearly see that okay, it has been pushing with the very same, uh, trend we've been or I've been showing you, and then it formed the double top. So guys, if you can check, it's always the same thing, guys. It's always the same thing, and then if you can check that level again, it corresponds with this one here. So you can see that. It's the same thing again. It has been respecting or it was respecting the same level. So even with the highs and the lows, you can see that, okay, now it wanted to give you like a strong push to the downside based on what it did um somewhere here, right? So you could have seen that, oh, okay, now the market wants to give me like a strong push to the downside, right? So I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about. So continuation, if I can drag this... To here you can see that now we have like four touches so simply meaning that you can also adjust this one based on what you now see here right so simply meaning that you can also adjust this one above here right so guys remember adjusting this gives us like the perfect trend of the market that okay the market is moving uh inside this particular trend which was a downtrend but remember because it's a downtrend doesn't mean we can't sell. We sell on the downtrend as well. But as long as we see everything we want as traders, right? So now, uh, 
the market came here, right? So I just want to show you something. So since since the market uh came or gave us this right, um, okay, guys. So if you can see, or as you can see that, okay, like like at this level here the market played for the longest time here if you like even if you can go to four hours it's like this level i say uh for example uh okay let me just do this mm -hmm. okay it's like this level here right you can clearly say that okay the market played for the longest time so this is the first uh swing low right so when it, it comes here so entry is like here when it formed this one now we are free to enter, like we are free to execute because it has been playing for the longest time. Even here, as long as the market, you can say that, okay, go to that point and then consolidate it. And then it form, like as soon as the market forms this, you like you execute, right? But if the market forms something like this and then just go, it means you have to wait. But if it does this, like on a certain high or on a, like on a certain low, as soon as it gives you this, you can do what you can sell or buy, depending on like which direction uh, are you taking for that moment. But from here, from this one, and then this was a clear sell. It's like here, from this, this one here, it was a clear buy. So I hope uh, you guys understand, and I hope you guys are following on what I'm trying to show you here. So again, the double top from here. So simple. This was a simple uh, buy, right? because it was i mean a simple sell because there was also like a double um a double what is this guys there was also like a double top there right so as you can see uh okay let me just delete everything so that you all can see and understand so okay um again if we can just draw here always guys there are always gonna be double bottoms so as you can see from here there was a double bottom as well so yeah, another best way guys draw you through through a trend line just to understand what's happening right and then from here you clearly see that you have like a consolidation a strong consolidation point and then you have the second consolidation point which is your execution point again you have the third one which is which is your execution point and then if you can do this if you can adjust this trend line here if you can adjust to here you can see that you do have it in breakout and retest and then the market continued to rally to the upside. So guys, this is the technical side of the charts, guys. This is like the technical. So I just wanted to show you guys that we can also do technical here. We don't only um, depend on the systems and stuff. So we can also do, uh, or we have uh, the right tools when it comes to technical, right? So one last example, guys, and then we jump to, um, to a USDT. So, <clears throat> so as you can see from this point, uh, kept on pushing and then now I started doing this, started doing this. And then from here, uh, you can see that it just simply shot all the way to the downside. So what does this mean uh, on my side? So this simply means, but this simply tells us that, okay, the second one is our entry. So it came back up here again, right? And then this is where we're supposed to look for selling opportunities because it formed the last time. Then like the low, we all can see that the low was strong. And right? so as soon as it gave us a retracement, we still look for selling opportunities, right? Because it broke uh, uh, the pattern, right? So as you can see from here, anything which can convince you that from here is going to sell, you take, for example, like this a uh, small double bottom or you can say simple top for example uh, another example if you were to miss that one you could have said uh, you see a trend line the market breaking the trend line it was still another entry another entry again you could have drawn your trend line like this it broke this one still another entry so there were so many ways to execute and to place entries based on uh, how this was uh, looking like right so from here uh i will just do this so you can see that okay from this point you can clearly see guys that okay after the market broke came to retest came so double top again from here 
continuation to the downside. Simple, straightforward, and effective, guys. So, okay, that was the last example. Like, there's still more we can talk about. There's still more we can talk about, guys, because I see it everywhere, everywhere. Even now, when I'm scrolling, I see a lot of examples we can discuss. So, but uh, we can't discuss everything, everything, everything. So, I can just show you, like, the last example uh, based on today's trades or today uh, or this week uh, movements right how did the market or on how the market moved this week so remember it came here it came here so it formed the double bottom so it was a simple sell because it formed the what a double top i mean a double top guys not a double bottom so as you can see this was the double top so Remember, once the market forms a double top, we're saying most of the time the sales become stronger than the buys. Even if you were to sell here only in close, right? You could have killed it or you could have made so much money, right? So as you can see, it was uh, this was the first swing and then this was the second swing. So on the second swing, uh, you could have killed it a, a, a much further than how you did on the first one, right? So... <clears throat> Um, this is all I have for you guys on uh, <clears throat> on German DT. We're just gonna look at um what is this USDT quick? Um USDT, USDT, USDT. So same thing, guys, uh same method, uh same uh skill. Uh you just have to be able to spot uh what you need or what you want. Still we spot the double bottoms, still we spot Zoom points and stuff, the consolidations and everything, right? So, <clears throat> so but the best way to trade, guys, is to always like try to master um how how your particular or how that certain uh pair or that certain index moves, right? So, for example, if you can check with this one, look at this guys. There was a strong consolidation here, and then after that, there was this guys. There was this. So this was supposed to be your entry. And then where is your take profit? It's level. And it's a what? It's a double. So same applies or same as what? Same as uh how we're doing it on our what? On our on our German data. So it's still the same strategy or the same rules on how we're doing it. Um on our Jemaine, right? Mm. Okay, guys. Um, I feel like we're gonna have to continue tomorrow, but like it's still the same thing as consolidation pushed. So the market will always do the same thing, guys. You just have to check. So for those who will be watching this video, guys, after this video, guys, please do go and back test uh, with your charts and see that like it, everything I say happened or am i making up stories so if everything i told you happened do text me on whatsapp and tell me that okay everything you tell us uh, did uh, uh, i saw everything guys i always leave my numbers in the title of the video so that you guys can get me anytime i want me so as you can see even with this one as it was buying even here even here so even now as it was selling as it was selling so so i hope i hope i hope i hope you guys understand i hope you guys understand and i hope you guys followed on how how um, i was trying to show you how to kill uh the um indexes based on uh, the technical side so we're still gonna review on we're still gonna combine this with the trading system so this is part of the forex free course guys so i'm just giving you like a heads up on what to look for every time when you're about to trade the market or when you're about to execute or when you're about to kill the chart so thank you so much for your time guys let's meet again in the next video which i'm going to be posting soon